Okay, in this question, we want to find the second partial derivative for ln parentheses x squared plus y squared plus 3. So the first thing we want to do is define our function. So we have f parentheses x comma y is defined as we have ln, we have inside is x squared plus y squared plus 3. So now it's, it's defined. And before we can get to the second partial derivative, we need to get the first partial derivative. So we can say fx is defined as, we hit menu, calculus, derivative. We want to take the derivative in terms of x. And we can simply write f parentheses x comma y. So this is the uh, first partial derivative. But we want to get the second partial derivative. So we can say fxx is defined as we will hit menu, calculus, derivative, once again in terms of x, and we want to take the derivative of fx, so this, hit enter, and so this is one of our answers. This is the uh, first partial derivative for fxx. But we can also get fxy fairly e easily. So we can do fxy is defined as, we hit menu, calculus, derivative, this time in terms of y, and it's going to be fxy, so we'll take fx. We'll take this term right here. So we will take this term. It's like this. Hit enter. And so this is another answer. This is fxy. But now we also need to get fyy. So we, we will first get the uh, first partial derivative in terms of y. So we can say fy is defined as the derivative, so calculus derivative, this time in terms of y. And it's going to be the very original function where we said f parentheses x comma y. So we can say f parentheses take the um, derivative in terms of y, like this. Hit enter. So this is f y, but we want to get the second partial derivative. So we want f y y. So we can say f y y is defined as we hit menu calculus derivative in terms of y, and we'll do this hit enter and so now we have three answers we have fxx this we have fxy this and we have fyy we can also do fyx but that would be equivalent to this so let's just do it let's just do it anyways we can say fyx is defined as we hit menu calculus derivative it's going to be in terms of x, and we will want this. So hit enter. So we have negative 4xy divided by x squared plus y squared plus 3 squared. So let's see if it's a match. And it's a match. So that's our four answers. So just a quick recap. We can um, expand it so you can see the full everything what we did. And that's it.